channel it's favor miss summer here again so if you're new to this channel and this is the first time you are seeing my face this channel is all about fashion lifestyle skincare my journey in life my journey as a law student you know all that good stuff so yes if you're interested in this type of content please do ensure to watch this video tell me what you think in the comment section of course don't forget to like share and subscribe if you're a returning subscriber ah oh, I love you so much and of course don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified when i upload a new video so do you have a friend who got out of secondary school or who has graduated from secondary school and hasn't been able to secure admission into the university or are you that person who just got out of secondary school and hasn't been able to secure admission into the university then this video is for you so yes i'm going to be telling you about jupep everything i know about jupep everything i wish i knew about jupep my jupep experience you know and all that stuff so yes a disclaimer i am not a jupep official or anything so i'm just going to be telling you my experience you know all that stuff i know you might be wondering what is this jupep she's talking about so what is the meaning of jupep the full meaning of jupep is joint universities preliminary examination board so JPEP is an advanced level examination which was established by the University of Lagos. JPEP started around 2014, so it should be eight years or so by now. I'm not really sure. And JPEP is recognized by NEC, that is the National University Commission. And it is also recognized by most universities, that is the same. A whole lot of universities offer JPEP now. Like over the years, a whole lot of universities have started offering the JPEP program. So yes, UPEP is like an A-level, just like a direct entry program, you go straight into 200 level. So yes, there are other options, there are a whole lot of options if you don't get admission into the university. Jump, there is IJMB, there is pre-degree, you know, there are a whole lot of options. But I'm going to be telling you about UPEP because that is what I did and that is what I have knowledge about. Mm -hmm. So what are the requirements or eligibility for UPEP? So if you want to register for JPEP, you have to first of all have your WIAC result or your NECO result or its equivalent. If you do not have your WIAC result or your NECO result, your results, you can also use awaiting results to apply. We have to make sure that before you are done with the whole JPEP program, of course, your WIAC result or your NECO result or its equivalent is out so you can upload. Another requirement is that as you are registering for JPEP, you also make sure you buy your direct entry form alongside your JPEP form. And if the entry is not open by them, be sure to buy it. Like it is very, very important. I cannot stress the importance of this direct entry form. Just like a regular university program, JPEP works in semesters. So you are going to be um, having the first semester and second semester. I don't really know when registration commences, but I know registration starts before September. I'm not really sure. But your first semester starts from September to February. And your second semester starts from March to June, July. And of course, after your first semester, you're going to be writing the first semester exam and then you'll be given a short break or we like to say a break. Then you're also going to be writing a second semester exam after your second semester. After your second semester, you're going to write the main JPEP exam. So it is important to take your first semester and your second semester exam serious because it is going to help prepare you for the main JPEP exam and yes after your second semester you're going to be giving a few days break or maybe a week break or I don't know how long you're just going to be giving a break yes so that you prepare for the main JPEP exam within this break you might be going for you might be having classes so they will be able to prepare you for the main JPEP exam so as I said earlier make sure you take your first semester and second semester exam very very serious so lectures you're going to be having lectures from mondays to fridays then for science students you might be having practicals on saturdays as well but then during the second semester after you are done writing your second semester exam you're going to school on saturdays so that they will prepare you for the main jupep exam you have um arts humanities management slash social sciences and we also have the sciences so depending on the course you are going for you will likely fall under any of the three of them UPEP offers a whole lot of subjects they offer wide varieties of subjects about 19 of them or so I'm not really sure 
yes but they offer a whole lot of subjects but depending on the course you are going for you're going to be choosing your subjects so each student is going to be offering three subjects each student will be offering three subjects and as i said earlier depending on the course you're going for you're going to be picking the three subjects you are going to be offering for so grading for gpf the grading for gpf works in points you have a total number of 16 points as i said earlier you're going to be offering three courses so if you make an a an a is five points b four points c three points you know and so on and so forth so if you make an a in the three courses you're going to be having 5 10 15 that is 15 points because a is equal to five points as i stated earlier so yes you're going to be having 15 points then GPF gives one additional point i think for students that have from a to e i'm not really sure but yes they just give one additional point free which makes it the total number of 16 points so depending on what you get your grade whether you get a b or a c that will sum up your total number of points so let's say if you're going for law now you're going to be offering government crs and literature mm -hmm. and yes if you make five points in all these three subjects you are going to be having 15 points plus the additional one point that is 16 points and if you're going for um, medicine and surgery you're going to offer of course the major science courses which are physics chemistry and biology so yes and it is important to note that if depending on the, each faculty or like each department have the required number of points you have to meet for them to give you admission into that faculty or department so after your GPA program if you reach the required number of points for your faculty or department then you are going to get admission of course so yes it is important to take your studies serious and of course your work results or its equivalent should also be good that is you should not have any f in your work result or anything yes so that is that and another very important thing about GPEP is that you do not need jam so yes for GPEP you have to make the required number of points and ensure that you register for direct entry and your wire result or its equivalent is good that is you do not have an f like it is okay and good to use Jupiter uh, has a whole lot of advantages like imagine spending a year at home and during that year you spent at home you offer GPEP and you're going to go straight to 200 level just like where you are meant to be if you actually got admission for GPEP you do not need jam you do not need to write jam GPEP can be used abroad although I do not know how it actually works abroad the GPEP certificate doesn't expire that means you can use it over and over and over and over again yes it has a whole lot of advantages the only thing about GPEP is that, as I said earlier, it's just like direct entry. So if you're going to 200 level, so maybe when you enter 200 level, you might be lost, might under probability, and of course you have to rewrite the 100 level courses that you missed. So yes, the exam for GPEP. When you are going to be writing this exam, the exam is going to consist of the objectives and the theory parts. Then for science student, of course, you have the practical parts the exam is usually a three days exam because as i stated earlier my exam mine was a three days exam because as i stated earlier you're going to be offering three different subjects they might actually give you space in between the exams or that is maybe a day break or they might not give you any break at all it all depends and yes after your exam the result doesn't waste time it doesn't take a whole lot of time to come moving over to my GPEP experience my GPEP experience was a very boring one. I did GPEP in 2019 in Nnamdi University, Oka, and Nambara states. You know how it is when you just graduated from secondary school, your jam result was good, your work result was good, and you weren't able to get admission, and you're like, what's wrong, things like that. So I was just like, I just need to leave this house to be sane. I just want to leave this house to be I just I just wanted to go to the university environment. Like you know how it is that you're smart and you didn't get the admission. You know how it feels. Yeah, so that was how I felt then. And my parents found out about Jupep through a family friend. 
and yes i registered for jupep february i registered very late i did late registration for jupep and yes i have some documents here so i'll be telling you about price and you know stuff like that so i registered for jupep um february very late and when i registered the whole jupep process was about to close so when i went to register i did my registration in unizip the man gave me this form to fill in the form it had all this email address um, name registration you know all these things and o level and the courses the course i wanted to go for and yes i after the whole registration thing of course you go to the bank and pay so yes the whole jupep registration thing cost me about fifteen thousand one hundred and seventy five naira that is what is written but yes so that was that for the registration of jupep and after registration i was asked to do this um biometrics and when i did the biometrics i was given this this id card so yes by i was asked to do this capturing process and so after the whole registration process i resumed school i cannot forget that date 11th of march 2019 because it was a day after my mom's birthday i resumed school when i got to school i found out that they just finished their first semester actually and yes they were like i have to write the first semester exam so i had a whole lot of reading and reading and reading and reading to do yes so i read a lot and i didn't have much friends like it was few weeks into the whole jupep stuff that i made friends i didn't even know self that the people in my lodge were actually part of the whole some of them were actually doing jupep until a few weeks after so yes coming to the amount i spent after the whole registration for the jupep i paid acceptance fee the acceptance fee cost seventy thousand one hundred and fifty seven roughly seventy thousand two hundred then after the acceptance fee then we now have the main school fees they call it jupep development lady that is what is written here it's cost about 175,157 naira so yes and one major thing about this thing is that after paying all these fees you don't need to pay for textbooks because the textbooks will be given to you and after you're done paying all these fees the only thing you might need to pay for is you need to pay for is maybe accommodation because your accommodation is not inclusive inside here then aside from your accommodation your feeding and your cost of living that is just it you don't need to pay for anything concerning school again so after paying all this fees mm -hmm. my social life was not just there my major regret about jupep is not registering for direct entry you can imagine like i just wanted to leave the house like I didn't do my proper research about Jupiter, how it works and things like that. So I didn't even know stuff about the direct entry until it was late. Then I found out it was late. I think the whole process was closing that day. So that is why I have this first note. Make sure you register for direct entry. So yes, that is that. And when the exam was approaching they gave us this form to fill with your passport they are going to give you an exam number and yes they gave us this stuff to fill so let me show you the whole jupep exam stops i spent few days in school just to you know because i wasn't sure i was going to see my friends again i actually had very few friends because as i stated earlier the whole staying at home thing kind of got to my head so long after the whole jupep exam stuff the result came out the, jupep, the result doesn't take time to come out it takes let's say less than two months for it to come out so yes and this is what the result looked like actually did very well let me just hide myself a little i did very well in my jpep i had two a's and a b i got a b in literature in english two a's that is i got the a's in government and christian religious studies yes that is making it a total number of 15 points let me show it to you 
I don't know if you can see it. 15, 15 points. Yeah, investing, you know. Whew. So that was that for my Jupep experience. So it was actually boring. So just more of reading. I regret not registering for direct entry. I regret not being able to strike a balance between my academics and my social life and other aspects of my life. Except for me, yes, it was a very good experience. So I would advise that if you are going to register for Jupep, I would advise that if you're registering for Jupep, you should also register for direct entry. Another major advice I will give if you're registering for Jupep is to ensure that you register for JAM. You don't need JAM for Jupep, but just ensure you register for JAM so you do not put all your eggs in one basket. Another advice I will give is take your study serious. Like, Jupep is not difficult. It's study serious. And of course, make sure you endeavor to strike a balance between your academics and other aspects of your life. And yes, 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 I recommend Jupep. So that is that for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you have a friend or you want to know about Jupep or you haven't gotten admission yet into the university, please watch this video. And if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. I will be replying. Thank you guys for watching. I would like to see you in my next video. I love you so much. Please make sure to share this video. This video can actually help a whole lot of people. See you later.